Are your students unmotivated to read? Are they tired of learning the same way? And are you tired of teaching the same basic curriculum? I bet you are looking for a fun way to motivate students who are struggling to read. If so, I have the perfect thing for you. Aerobics is the solution to all of your problems. It was created by the publishing company Houghton Mifflin. Aerobics is a multi-sensory reading intervention used for raising academic achievement and empowering schools and districts to meet the needs of diverse populations. Aerobics is great because it offers easy to deliver differentiated instruction that is flexible and provides the support each student needs to succeed. Aerobics doesn't only include interactive software like most people think. It also includes guided instruction, student resources, teacher guides, correlations and assessments, customized professional development, and school-to-home connections. This picture shows an example of the types of games aerobics offers students. This game is called Caterpillar Connection. The caterpillar would say, click on the picture that begins with the sound S. Student would click on the picture of the sandwich. This game tests students' discrimination of beginning letter sounds. Aerobics is great to use for every student in your classroom, but it's especially great for students who are struggling because it is explicit and systematic instruction that is targeted to each student's individual needs. Aerobics is a great resource to use for your English language learners as well because you can change the language to allow students to hear activity instruction in up to 10 languages. So for example, if you had a Korean ESL student in your class, you could set their language up as Korean on aerobics so they could get English instruction while also having the support of their first language. There are a lot of great advantages to using aerobics in the classroom. A couple of the things that I think are most important is that aerobics is designed to align with the core curriculum and standards. Because it was designed by the publishing company Houghton Mifflin, it corresponds with the standards for each state, which is really great because you know the kids are learning what they need to be learning. The second thing I think is really great about aerobics is that it offers um, RTI instruction. So this program is designed to offer effective early intervention before children fall behind their peers, and this reduces special education referrals. Aerobics can be used as Tier 1 intervention in the general ed class by all students, Tier 2 intervention to provide some supplemental intervention for those students in this tier, as well as Tier 3 intervention, which focuses on more intensive intervention and individualized instruction. Um, the aerobics assessment roadmap can be used to target the individual needs of each student. Not only is the assessment roadmap great for designing individualized instruction for each student, but it also provides ongoing progress monitoring data for the teacher. This is a great tool for teachers to have so that they can see where their students are at and see their progress over the year. The only disadvantage I can find of aerobics is that it does cost a lot of money. One teacher cannot individually buy aerobics for their classroom because it would be a lot of money. Normally the school or the county will buy aerobics for that school or the entire county to use. The parents can buy a school home software to use that is almost $100, but aerobics does offer free games through a program called GameGoo that students can use at home to help reinforce the skills that they're learning by using aerobics at school. Even though aerobics is very expensive, because it is an effective reading intervention program, it meets the requirements of many government and private grant and funding sources. So if you're a teacher at a school that doesn't have aerobics, you can log on to aerobics.com and find out information about how to plan, write, and implement a grant. There are many ways to get grants for aerobics, and school districts across the county consistently win funding for their projects when they partner with aerobics. Aerobics is a great resource to use in the classroom. Because of the fun game-like activities that students play, they're more motivated and willing to learn than they were if they weren't using aerobics. The results are really incredible. 97% of students who use aerobics achieve significant improvements in their literacy skills. These statistics alone would make me want to try aerobics. I plan to use aerobics in my future classroom, and I hope after watching this video, you see why you 